There's been a lot of debate about allergy testing recently, so we sent nutritionist Patrick Holdford the challenge of curing four viewers of debilitating symptoms ranging from migraines to PMT. Just a minute, we'll see how Vicky Foster Lewis from Chichester got on. First, though, let's take a look at how she was when we met her first seven weeks ago. I've suffered from irritable bowel syndrome for the past 10 years. Uh, it can have quite a big impact on your life. Uh, you can be walking along quite happily, all of a sudden you're doubled over with stomach pains, almost as if somebody's stabbing you. She doesn't look after herself as well as she should. She can get to the end of the day and realise she hasn't eaten anything. So I have two children, Megan, who is 10, and McKenna who is four years old. I do worry sometimes that uh, the low mood could affect them, but I'm a person that's uh, a bit of a control freak, really, so I managed to disguise it. Welcome to my kitchen. This is my confession time. I am rather partial to coffee, probably about 12 cups a day. Also, having the two children, it's very much convenience food in this house. We all adore pizza, chicken nuggets, sausages, chips. If I show you my fridge, this shows another major weakness of mine, chocolate. I do worry about Vicky because she's very conscious of her weight and um, you know, sometimes she obviously doesn't eat enough. Can you give up chocolate? Can you give up pizza? Can you give up burgers? No! No! <laughs> but you're going to give up the rest of the things to try and help me so we can fix mummy, yes. we can mend her. I've taken antispasmatics for the irritable bowel syndrome. They don't seem to work. I'm at present on Prozac for the low moods, which is helping, but I prefer to find a natural way and avoid the drugs. Well, Vicky is here now, along with nutritionist Patrick Holford. 12 cups of coffee a day. Ooh, that had to go, didn't it? That it just did have, have to, to go, go, yeah. It really, really did. Now, we, we obviously tested you and we found uh, an allergy. It was to egg white, wasn't it? Yeah, an allergy to egg white and a minor reaction to shellfish and right. mollusks. So that's like prawns and mussels. Yeah. So we um, got rid of So that. they had to go, because mm. with irritable bowel syndrome, very, very common cause is allergy. Right. But another common cause is too much coffee. Mm. And you never know <laughs> which. Mm. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. So there we are. Now, egg white, you think to yourself, oh, well, yeah, it's all right, you know, egg white. But it's in so many things. Bad it's things, naughty an things. absolute nightmare. The so first... you're having to read all the labels. Oh, yeah. the first time we went food shopping, my husband was going absolutely ballistic with me. He said, I thought we were only coming food shopping. We'd only be here for about half an hour. Two hours later, we came home because I was there looking at all the packets. Of course, and... of course. But have you found a difference? Yeah. You have? A big difference. A so big is, difference. you feel better about the mood because you were yeah. feeling a bit low? Yeah, I, uh, I've got more energy in things now. Mm. Um, I used to take a lot of things to heart before and right. get quite paranoid about things, whereas now I'm saying to Patrick I'm very laid back. Oh, that's which good. Is, Maybe uh, that's really something good. to do with the fact that you're not totally wired because well, you're not yeah. taking 12 cups of coffee. What did you do? use as a substitute then for, for coffee? I've drunk rather a lot of the herbal teas right. and things. Right. But um, that's okay, isn't it? No, it's very good. That's fine. Yeah. In fact, we've got a few of the alternatives here. Yeah. I think you quite like this, um, the Ruibosch yeah. tea. Oh, that's, it's lovely. That's really yeah. nice. So this red bush or Ruibosch tea, it's very nice with milk. It's probably mm. the closest thing to a cup of tea. It yeah. is. It's really but, comforting. But yeah. I, I like it a lot, actually. I, and I then there are, there are a lot of coffee alternatives. Yeah. Um, this one... The caro is nice. Yeah, that's mm. very nice. And although there is caffeine in green tea, yeah. There's a lot less. OK, so it's OK. It's all about cutting down, isn't it, yeah. and, cu and cutting back and being a, being a bit more sensible. Supplements? What sort of supplements have you been taking? Um, so many of them. <laughs> You're I, rattling. Yeah. I am rattling, yeah. I, I mean, I gave Vicky a, a good multi, some vitamin C, essential right. fats. Um, but also, when, you're, when you have a lot of adrenaline and you're... I mean, we didn't mention the cigarettes because just no. before this Vicky had also stopped smoking 15 cigarettes ah, a day. Right, which is fantastic. Yeah. yeah. Well done, that's very good. So, you know, low mood, yeah. not sleeping, mm. lots of stimulants. Right. And sometimes your adrenal glands are, are sort of exhausted. Mm. And adrenaline is actually made from a amino acid or a type of protein called tyrosine. 
And there are some herbs like ginseng is one, rhodiola is another. Right. Uh, so I, I gave Vicky a supplement that contains these sort of natural adrenal support. Ah, okay. And they can help get you back on track. And mm. your mood is... It's Moods are better. Uh, yeah. yeah, you're yeah. sleeping so better. Much better. Sleeping as well. Yeah, I mean, this was a bit of a problem at one stage because I was falling asleep all the time. I was always so, so tired. But Patrick said it's the fact that I was running on adrenaline so yes. much before and it's my you body saying, to, hey. Yes, repair yourself yeah. a little bit. Um, you've got headaches when you gave up the coffee, but that's that's very natural, mm. isn't it? So you just have to work through that and that will go. Yeah. So that's gone now. Yeah, that has skin. gone now. Skin is so much better. Mm. I've been using these fantastic... Um, creams, a vitamin A cream right. and an antioxidant um, Environ creams and they have been absolutely amazing. Well, really, you look, really you look good. better, I have to say. You're just looking at you. Yeah. you your skin looks better, your eyes are sparkling, your I mean, hair's better. We ran a health test on you mm. and uh, this is a questionnaire you fill out online and yeah. originally your health score was 40%. That yes. was seven <laughs> weeks ago. And now we've rerun re it and it's now 67%. Oh, that's good. So you're nearly halfway that's to 100% That's really good. Health. And just a matter of, of weeks, just seven weeks that you can do that. Now, can you keep up this regime? I'm going to, You're yes. going to try. Yep. You're going to really try. Yep. That's fantastic. And then we've said sort of like May time, I can start thinking about introducing some of the foods that I was allergic to okay. back in to see if I'm able to Excellent. Well, them now. Excellent. Great to see that it's worked out. Patrick, well done. Another good, another good result. <laughs> Thank you very much You've indeed. And good, good luck with it. Really Thank good you. luck with it. Now, there's a surprise in tonight's episode of Emmerdale when Bob hopes son Jamie makes well an unexpected return to the village. Jamie! 